Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to enforce global settings for parameters with Big IP Advanced WEF, F5 Networks Industry Leading Web Application Firewall. This is Demo 12 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for new to intermediate level Big IP Advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit malicious web application requests. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request and can block all malicious requests, and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. We'll start by looking at the virtual server we'll be protecting. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. We'll create a big IP advanced WEF security policy to protect the virtual server. We'll give the policy a name. Select the template type, which for this policy will be rapid deployment. And the virtual server we're protecting. We'll also put the security policy into blocking mode and disable signature staging. That's all it takes to create a basic security policy with Big IP Advanced WEF. We'll now examine the Advanced WEF Parameters List page. Parameters are the user input fields we use on a web page, such as the username and password fields. This page displays all the explicit parameters allowed in this security policy. However, this security policy is not configured to enforce specific parameters. The asterisk, or wildcard entry, identifies that all parameters are allowed. We're going to modify some attributes that all parameters must adhere to. We'll click the asterisk to configure these settings. Notice that the Perform Staging checkbox is not enabled. This ensures that Big IP Advanced WEF will enforce the attributes we're going to set for all parameters. First, we'll clear this setting to not allow empty parameter values. We'll also set a maximum length value for all parameters of 50 characters. Next, we'll select the Value Meta Characters tab. On this page, we can choose to restrict users from entering certain keyboard characters into input fields. We'll first select this option to enable this feature. Notice that several keyboard characters are already disallowed by default. We don't want users entering the exclamation point into input fields, so we'll select to disallow this meta character. Finally, We'll select the Attack Signatures tab. Notice that by default, Big IP Advanced WEF checks parameters for over 650 parameter level attack signatures. Next, we'll add parameter violation enforcement using the Learning and Blocking Settings page. This page is used to configure nearly all security policy settings. We'll expand the Parameters section. For all parameter violations, we'll select the Alarm and Block checkboxes. This ensures that Big IP Advanced WEF will block requests that violate the parameter settings we configured previously, such as the maximum length and the disallowed meta characters. We'll now save and apply the policy. When updating a security policy with Big IP Advanced WEF, you must always click Apply Policy to see the changes in the application. We'll now access the web application and attempt some illegal requests. We'll use the Damn Vulnerable Web Application, or DVWA for short. First, 
we'll attempt to log in with a username that includes an exclamation point. This malicious request is blocked by the Big IP Advanced Web Security Policy. We'll now log in as a malicious user. On this page, we'll attempt to submit the form without adding a value in the input field. This request is also blocked by Advanced WEF. Next, we'll attempt to insert a SQL injection string into this input field. This is also blocked. Finally, we'll attempt to input a rather long input string. This request is also blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's view the Big IP Advanced WEF event log. First, we'll filter the log files to view only blocked log entries. This request was blocked because we entered an exclamation point into the username parameter, which violated the allowed meta characters attribute. This request was blocked because the IP parameter was submitted without a value, which violated the security policy. This request was blocked for two reasons. There were illegal meta characters in the parameter value and there was an attack signature detected. Because the attack signatures are configured at the global level, all parameters are protected using the Big IP Advanced WEF attack signatures. And finally, this request was blocked because the name parameter was submitted with 85 characters, which violated the maximum length attribute setting of 50 characters. We've determined this last blocked request to be a false positive and we want to ensure similar future requests will not be blocked. We'll return to the parameters list page and update the global parameter settings to a maximum length of 100 characters. After applying the updated policy, we'll reload the page with a long text string. The request that includes the long parameter value is now allowed. Thank you for watching this demonstration on enforcing global parameter settings using F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, Contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.